Welcome to Off the Wall, a video series about the hat life. Alex from your Gorman Brothers virtual styling team here again with a new video. And today we're talking about why you should invest in a Panama straw hat. Let's get right to it. Okay, so it's summertime and you've probably considered, if not already purchased, your straw hat for the season. But if you're wondering where to start or if you already have one and are wondering where to pivot to, this video might help you understand where to go for your own personal hat, summer straw wardrobe. Now, I'm a big advocate of starting off with a base summer wardrobe of at least one to two Panama straw hats. I'm gonna explain why here in a second, but if you've been on Goran.com, you've probably noticed already that we have three types of straw um, on our website. So we have palm straw, we have some hemp straw, we have a little bit of paper straw, so I guess it would make it four. And the fourth being Panama. So a Panama straw is actually toquilla straw that is woven in Ecuador. It is native to Ecuador. It is a natural straw type. And it is the majority of straw hats we make are made of toquilla. Why? Well, I'm going to explain. So from here on out, I'm going to be referring to a toquilla straw as a Panama, Panama straw hat, right? Any hat that is calling itself a Panama needs to be made of Tokia straw, right? So with Panama hats, they're the majority of straw hats that we make at Gorman Brothers. Why is that? Well, in my opinion, the Panama hat in, in that straw type specifically is the perfect combination of durability, functionality, and fashionable. Those three words right there. Uh, are best personified within the Panama hat. Definitely, I love a hemp straw hat, uh, and, and I love a palm straw. With both of those, there's trade-offs to it that I think the Panama hat does the best job of covering kind of the largest swath of all three of those categories, whereas some of the other ones, at least the ones that we make currently, don't quite get there. So I'm gonna explain exactly those three points right now. Okay, so the first thing about Panamas is that I love their durability. The straw itself is extremely durable. It's not going to be that flimsy uh, feeling you get from like a paper straw. Uh, it's not meant to be really floppy um, unless it's purposely structured that way. It's going to really hold its shape. You can see here in the Monte Carlo I have a snap brim Panama here. And again, that brim is going to keep its shape if I snap it down or up and the straw itself is a good gauge, a good thickness without being overwhelmingly thick that you can sometimes feel from some palm straws, to be frank. Uh, this just has a good weight to it without being something that's gonna be super, super heavy on your head. So I love the durability. One note, and you'll know this if you've watched some of my earlier videos, with all straw hats, not just Panama, but all straw hats, they're gonna be more durable the less you keep them out in rain or anything like that. We wanna keep these away from water. Do not get them wet and handle them properly from the brim. Try to avoid cracking the crown by grabbing it from the top. So, durability. Panama's got that in spades. Okay, so the second thing that I love about Panama's is their functionality, the functionality of the straw, right? So by functionality, I mean, how's it gonna perform in heat? In a bright sunny day, maybe you're going for a long hike, you're gonna be out in the sun for eight to 10 hours, and you need your, your own shade, you need to create your own sun coverage, you need to keep that sun from beating down and wearing you down. Panama straws, in my opinion, are a great option for this, right? So in terms of light, sunlight getting through there, the tightness of the weave of the Panamas that we make are extremely good. So you're getting at least a 50 UPF rating on it, if not higher. And just to see exactly what I'm talking about, hopefully you can see this flame behind the hat here. I have a lighter going. And not a ton of light is gonna get through. Now, it's not 100%, so if you're one of those people that needs absolutely no sun on your scalp, then maybe you need a lining for this or a different hat. That's totally okay. But for the majority of us, this is gonna give us a ton of sun protection. It's gonna hold up just great in the sun. So I love the functionality for it. And again, I think with thinking about what you need in terms of the shade you need, where you're gonna be using it will really help you, right? This is a four inch plus brim. I would wear this to the beach. This is two and three quarters. I can still wear this to the beach, but I could also wear this to something 
like a hike or maybe even a summer wedding where I'm out there in the sun for only a couple hours, but I still need some sun coverage. This is gonna do great. So, functionality, that's the second thing I love and why I think you should invest in Panama's. All right, so the third and final reason why I think you should invest in Panama's, and in my opinion, why we at Gorham Brothers make so many Panama's, is they're fashionable. I think straw hats, a lot of them out there, and I'm sure you've seen cheap, uh, maybe beach resort straw hats. They look cheap, right? They're made of paper straw. Maybe they don't have their structure. They don't have like a dignity um, to them, a presence to them. I feel like Panama's, when made well, and I think that ours are made well, have a presence to them. Um, and obviously picking the shape can really dictate that, right? It can look very elevated fashionably. Something like this Panama hat that I'm wearing is a louder shape, a broader shape. However, something like the Monte Carlo, this is as classic as it gets, right? I've worn this this summer already. I've worn this to a summer wedding, I've worn this to the pool, and I've worn this on a hike through the park. So three different settings right there, and in each case it worked for whatever I needed. However, if I want to wear this a little bit more elevated to a nicer dinner, something that makes you feel a little bit more dignified. I feel like Panama straw specifically has that refined feel and look to it. It just doesn't look cheap. So those three things are what I love about these Panama hats. And this is why I think you should invest in not one, at least two Panama hats. So at the end of the day, you have to figure out what do you need this summer straw hat for, right? You're gonna have some pros and cons to each kind of straw or each kind of shape you have to use that to figure out what's the right one for you. But if you're just starting out and you have a nice wool felt wardrobe and maybe not as many straw hats, consider Panama's. For 90% of folks, these really combine the most important things that you need to get an everyday straw hat um, and start building that summer hat wardrobe. So hopefully this cleared up some questions you had about Panama straw and why we make so many at Gorham Brothers. And if it didn't, Go ahead and leave a comment on this YouTube video, I'll be happy to answer it. Or you can always go on Goran.com and click on the chat. Or lastly, book an appointment directly with me, I'll be happy to answer any questions or get you had personally. So until I see you that next time, keep on living that straw life.